Yeah, I'll start. I'm Mark Thompson, and uh, I'm a co-owner of uh, Tap Tap Eat. And Sam, I'll let him introduce himself. But uh, uh, you know, we're local here from Oklahoma. I was born and raised here. Uh, graduated Edmond Memorial High School, um, and then went off to the University of Arkansas. Stayed there for a few years, and then crossed state lines uh, back again in 2005, and have been back in Edmond ever since. Uh, Sam Deck, uh, also a, a co-owner, co-founder of uh, Tap Tap Eat, um, moved to Oklahoma in 97, 1997 uh, to go to Southern Nazarene University um, and been here in Oklahoma pretty much since. Uh, a lot of family roots uh, from Oklahoma, did a lot of travel from uh, uh, California and Texas, but ended up in Oklahoma and have been here mm-hmm. for uh, quite some time now. What's it like running in Oklahoma in the heat? Oh, do you just? As I, I mean, you gotta, it's heat and wind. Heat here. and well, yeah, yeah, true. Let's not forget running at Lake Hafner in a, into a north wind is miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Cycling is also miserable yes, as is. well. Yeah, I, I think it makes you stronger. Yeah. Um, I've always looked at it as like it's just another obstacle, another hurdle. Mm-hmm. Like if you're having to get up at five to beat, you know the potential hundred degree weather, yeah. you know, and it's eighty <laughs> at six a.m. Um, I think it just makes you a tougher runner. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing with the wind. You know, it's. I, I know uh, Mark and I. We would line up our races. You know, post post college career, mm-hmm. in some of the best weather we could. You know, like you'd go out to Stanford or Walnut, California, or you know Indianapolis at 11 p.m. on you know in the summer, and it's just beautiful yeah. weather to go race a mile in, um, and it works a whole lot better because you've been working and training in a lot more mm-hmm. difficult weather. Yeah, and I think it transitions well. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it, and also kind of similar to that is like a lot of teams go and do altitude training, mm-hmm. right, or whatever it is. Like they're in the mountains, and you're right. Like it's it's good to see it that way because if you see it the other way, then you've already on the back foot, mm-hmm. right? Is that a term? Did I just use a running term? Wow, that was <laughs> the back not, foot. Yeah. That was that was not intentional. I promise. No, Cole, I actually I actually me learned. Surprise! I actually learned that from Sam a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. Moving over to Fayetteville, the weather was a little bit nicer over there. It's yeah. just not not quite as harsh and windy. You know, the average temps in the summer are five degrees cooler. And so when I came back here, kind of reluctantly for my running career anyway, mm-hmm. just because there weren't as many people running around here um, at that level. Um, I, I would complain, you know, I, I hated running in the wind and, and the heat and yeah. I, I was kind of mad, I was frustrated by that. It's like, well, I have to be here and I do want to continue my running. But I remember distinctly, you know, Sam saying, you know, it's just going to make us better. Like yeah. bring on the wind, you know, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, just let me complain here. <laughs> I just want to be in my own. Yeah. Well, running is such a mental thing too, Nick, because you're alone, you're in your own thoughts. You don't listen to music when you run. It's just you and your breath. Yeah. That's it. You know, like the birds or the wind. Yeah.